This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started. And this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Denver Broncos. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Let's go! 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Dancing to his left. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Looking to throw. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. The well, competition comes up in so many different ways, and right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Had about five sacks last week. We just saw their first one of this game. Now back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. getting set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A good pick up there, a 22. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A first opportunity for the Steelers in the red zone. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. In for the score. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. hands guess what creates a lot of confusion kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football back to throw now on second and ten stepping up he's gonna keep it the improv act they're good for nine and now they'll be looking at a third and short third and one they'll look to throw for it on third and one and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Ohio! Ohio! Ah! Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And now it's second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, 
Four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him, as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll set up a throw. That's complete right around the 8. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of 5. So we'll get a second and goal when we come back. 7-0 is our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Second and goal, the lone man in the backfield, Le'Veon Bell. Cut. They'll look to throw again. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. to throw on third and goal. The quick slant caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. offense now heading back out onto the field and they had three points last time but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown we'll see if they can do better now i'm with you on that one let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing the only one happy about the three point the kicker exactly you put it through the post that's going to help him in contract time but that offense they're thinking let's get in the end zone this time i don't know if that would help him in contract time you, you could have kicked that one through i don't know about that toe bash. i don't know about toe that it. super toe <laughs> Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Back to throw here. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And a big 32-yard play on third. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Ohio, Ohio. 
Back to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll get it down here to the 43. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Throw here out of the gun. Throw left side complete to Smith Schuster. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. He'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 more yards there and another first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get out to the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Here we go! They're going to look to throw. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Denver right after this. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want to wait to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside and have to take us through the weekend in the NFL. They'll look to throw here. And it's caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Steelers. Antonio Brown, his first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he... Try and start this drive in the air. Flush to his right. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll look to throw now on first down. Forced out to his left. Throw left side complete. It's Morgan. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw now on first down. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. 
Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as Let's that go. pass goes what incomplete. What Cut. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath, nearly got picked. He may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Let's go! They'll look to throw. Going for the deep ball. And it's incomplete. Both players had a shot at that one. Neither can get it. And it brings up fourth down. This secondary has been roasted in this first half. Of the The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll look to throw here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But it looked like the Steelers were able to recover, and they will indeed hold on to the ball. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Boom with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That's allowed them to disrupt the play. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 17. He'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're cheating right there on the brink, aren't they? Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. 
looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He'll drop to throw. Goes underneath for Bell. Call it a gain of three. And it'll bring up a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. What? Nine. What? Nine. Looking to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Cut. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. But they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly. Steelers offense now they get ready to head back on the field and they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone costly bad enough to throw it anywhere but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about hey we've got a shot at points already we're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure and to come away with nothing that's a really tough one for them to swallow yeah will they make up for it after the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Come on, He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And this one is incomplete. I remember Coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against him offensively. He's got his man on the crossing round. And they work this well upfield across the 45. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. 
They'll drop the throw. He's going to sling this. Oh, man, it's caught at the six-yard line. That one goes for 36 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. to throw got his man it's caught for a Steelers touchdown James Washington his second touchdown on the season and the Steelers are going to add on to their lead they were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late and now that lead even more comfortable and your first thought is is there bad blood that went into this <laughs> one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some Looks like he'll throw here. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more oh, downs to go. play with. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Morgan. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A very solid gain of 27. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You've got the big lead. you got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. But right now, maybe they're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. More points for everyone if they win big. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And an alley to run. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Cut! Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And it's caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Steelers. 
Antonio Brown. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Starting to really smell a 4-0 start right now. You can't ask for a better first quarter of the season than that. And you're not supposed to look ahead, but guess what? You're they, going to? They have to. this one all the way down inside the 20 and the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left so the big play means just like that they'll operate from the red zone now on first down From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. to throw here and it's incomplete They're still throwing to the very end but now this game is over a road win in the National Football League Charles you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing no matter where you're playing you take it and you run with it <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility no one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Steelers, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Denver, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
Guys, last time we were out here, coaching staff didn't like what we saw. You all know it wasn't good enough. So let's make up for that today and have a great one. I know you got it in you, so let me see that greatness come out on the field. Strap them up, pull up your big boy britches. This is for gold. All right, man, let's go. Bring it in tight. All right, let me tell you something. Championship teams have one thing in common. Great practice habits. Today was a great practice. And if we do that every day, there's no reason we can't win a championship. Today's a work day, gentlemen, and you know what that means? We gotta get better today. What I wanna know is, who's ready to work? Here we go! What? Men, you're going to like what you see in the film room this afternoon because today was a great practice. The coaching staff, we can't ask for much more. You guys consistently do that, and we are going to find ourselves in the playoffs. Good stuff.